the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. We stand. presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor He is crowned. still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister grace no work too hard for him in faith receive from him be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place Welcome to our evening praise online service for May. We are so glad that you could join us for this short time of reflection and to praise the Lord through song. The words to all the songs will appear on the screen, so please do sing along. The service is called New Beginnings and is some thoughts and song choices of a member of our own congregation. This is the time of year when we traditionally think about new beginnings. New leaves start appearing on the trees, bluebells carpet the ground in our woodlands, blossoms start to flourish on our apple trees. The daffodils that signalled the end of winter have now all but faded and we are waiting to see the blooms of summer. There are so many emerging wonders of nature in May. But this year, May has some other new beginnings because this is the month in which there is significant relaxation of the COVID-19 restrictions. So it is the month when we can all start to return to a, a more normal way of life than we have had for over a year. These are exciting times with new beginnings for us all. We may naturally be a bit apprehensive about these new beginnings, perhaps even a little fearful about going back out into the wider world. We may need a little bit of courage to start this new journey. We should remember that God is with us always, near to us, and he will never let go of us. We can take our courage from him. Please do sing along with us too. You never let go. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your perfect love is casting When I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life I won't turn back, I know you are near And I will fear no evil For my God is with me And if my God is with me Shall I fear? Who 
taken from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 21 to 24. If you have heard Jesus and have been taught by him according to the truth that is in him, then you know to take off your former way of life, your crumpled old self, to take a fresh breath and to let God renew your attitude and spirit. Then you are ready to put on your new self, modelled after the very likeness of God, truthful, righteous and holy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How blessed we are to have a loving God that will guide and protect us throughout our lives. Our next song is a traditional favourite hymn. Now thank we all our God.
talking about COVID-19. We can't help it. It has affected everybody's life. We are at last seeing the loosening of restrictions, which means that we are able to relax more and start to get used to the new norm in our lives. We are looking forward to the summer and the freedom it will give us. With more time out of the house, easier walking with the firm ground under our feet and the warm gentle breezes. After so long cooped up indoors through the cold winter and wet spring, we are so happy to be able to go out and about with fewer restrictions. We remember past times of joy that gave us pleasure. Maybe playing outdoors with our friends as children, bike rides, picnics, walks with the dog, days on the beach. We try to recreate these for our children or grandchildren. Often the simplest things bring us the most joy. We can all too easily forget the simple thank you or a word of encouragement that has passed our way, which has helped shape our lives. Let us remember that simple kindness costs us nothing, but it may change the recipient's life forever. Perhaps it could be an encouraging word from us that helps someone pursue an interest, a hobby, or even a career. All these are new beginnings brought about by simple kindness. Following the dark days of the pandemic, hope is on the horizon. So let's go forward with renewed vigour in our steps and warmth in our hearts for others. Please do sing along with our next song, Lord, I Need You, in which we ask God for his guidance as we make our way in life. Lord, I come, I confess, Bowing here, I find my rest Without you, I fall apart You're the one that guides my heart Lord, I need you, oh My righteousness, oh God, how I need you. When sin runs deep, your grace is more. Where grace is found is where you are. And where you
come to the time for prayers. Let us pray. Lord, we bring before you those we know who have suffered or died from COVID-19. Bring your peace to their family and friends. We pray for those who are suffering from the lasting effects of COVID-19 and its debilitating legacy. Lord, support them in their recovery. We pray for compassion and understanding from all who care for them. Lord, we thank you for all the people who have worked tirelessly to save lives. We pray for those who have worked hard to keep life as normal as possible for the rest of us. We pray for those who have developed the vaccines, which have offered the hope of a new beginning for us all. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our next song will take us to the blessing. It is a very old hymn, but the message at its heart is as fresh as when it was written by Horatio Spafford in 1876. Spafford wrote this beautiful hymn as a testament to the salvation he found in Jesus through the good and bad times in life. It is well my soul. Shall resound and the Lord shall deal. 
it is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. is well Lord Jesus Christ, I trust you completely in every aspect of my new beginning. I seek your wise counsel and ask for your abundant wisdom and knowledge to guide my paths. I no longer want to depend on my own flesh or other people's opinions first. Lord Jesus Christ, I place you first in my life and promise to grow closer to you each and every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this new beginning. Amen. And now the blessing. Lord Jesus Christ, send us out with confidence in your word to tell the world of your saving acts and bring glory to your name. Amen. Our final song is one of our favourites, Tell Out My Soul. We very much hope that you will be able to join us next month. May God bless you all. Tell out my soul Yeah.